Learning Redis, Section 5, Building a Word Dictionary. So this is going to be a fun little section. We're going to build a word dictionary in Redis and learn about Redis sets along the way. This is video 5.1, Sets and Membership. In this video, we're going to take a look at why we need a dictionary for our game in the first place, although this is probably already obvious to you, and what the capabilities of Redis set are and how to use a Redis set to help us create an efficient dictionary. So why do we need a dictionary? Well, every time a user takes a turn, we need to validate that they have the letters that they are really trying to play, that the rules allow that play, and finally, that the letters they are attempting to play make up a valid word. So we're going to deal with the first two later when we talk about taking a turn. But for now, we need a way to validate a word against a dictionary. The perfect structure for this exists in Redis as a set. What is a set? Well, you can think of it as a bag of strings. The strings in the bag have no order, and the bag will contain no duplicates no matter how many times you add the same string to it. The key feature of a Redis set is extremely fast tests for membership. This allows a set to perform multi-set operations, such as union and intersection, as well as simple is-it-in-the-set membership tests. So common use cases for a set are, you know, say, friends lists and tags, and of course our dictionary. So let's take a quick look at a couple of the basic commands that we can use to interface with the set. As mentioned, a couple of key commands are adding members using sAdd and determining membership using sIsMember. Both of these take the name of the set, which is your key, and the string member to add or check. The next command, sMembers, retrieves all the members of the set. But remember that unlike a list, we generally don't need or want to iterate over the members, especially if there are a lot of them. And finally, sCard allows you to get the cardinality, which is the size of a set's membership. So for even more fun, you can efficiently perform set arithmetic between two or more sets. Now you might remember from studying set theory, or maybe not, that there are three basic ways of combining sets. There's union, intersection, and difference. And these could correspond to sUnion, sInter, and sDiff Redis commands. And as you can see, I've included some nifty uh, Venn diagram graphics that show you how they work. Of course, there are many more set commands, which you can see in the Redis documentation. But this gives you a good idea of how sets can be used. So let's put our newfound set knowledge to work. In the next video, we're going to import a dictionary of words into Redis and put it to work.